Well, after months of legal wrangling, Alabama has new congressional district line. A federal three-judge panel chose one of three maps proposed for the 2024 election. A special master came up with the three maps as alternatives to the map drawn by the state legislature. It was determined the legislature's map did not satisfy court requirements to improve black voter representation. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis is joining us live from the state house. And Aaron, the court chose proposed map number three. Tell us more. Val, they did choose map number three, and that's really the map that had the most consensus when all of the parties involved were in court or earlier this week, and that map names Congressional District 2 and 7 as the districts that will give black voters an opportunity to elect a candidate of their choice. This is Alabama's new congressional map. It shows a black voting age population of 48% in District 2 and 51% in District 7. Plaintiff Evan Milligan calls this a win for this chapter of the case. This newly reconfigured District 2 can result in billions of dollars of investment in those communities. Republicans are not happy about the court's decision. They take issue with the split of Mobile County. They are either racially gerrymandered or politically gerrymandered to make sure Democrat wins. Secretary of State Wes Allen says the state will use these maps in the 2024 election cycle, but also that, quote, it is important for all Alabamians to know that the legal portion of this process has not yet been completed, In quote. House Minority Leader Representative Anthony Daniels says an appeal from the state would be a waste of taxpayer dollars. It's totally fiscally irresponsible. At the end of the day, we have to be fiscally responsible for what we do and the dollars that we, we spend within the state of Alabama. I started the process, I looked at the lawyers, I looked at our demographer and said, we don't have to do anything but follow the law. And now the Supreme Court has ruled that you are entitled to representation based on the percentage of your population. It was a change we didn't see. It's still unclear how the new district boundaries could impact the chance of re-election for Republican Barry Moore and Democrat Terry Sewell. Milligan says there needs to be more emphasis on voter registration and turnout. Hopefully keep them motivated so that not only in the spring, but also the fall of next year, we see a turnout that reflects the opportunity that we have. Supreme Court justices have the power to intervene, but this is the map that will be used during the 2024 election cycle, even if the case is appealed. Val? All right, thanks a lot, Aaron. In a post online, Attorney General Steve Marshall says the map violates the Constitution's guarantee of equality for all. Now, you can view the map for yourself at WSFA.com.